Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. SJW slams America on its birthday, but patriots put him in his place. As Americans of all stripes celebrated our nation's independence, a Black Lives Matter shill insulted the holiday. He bashed the very day our nation was born, but true patriots shut him down. BLM activists tried to slam America on its birthday. Photo credit, screenshot slash YouTube, Gage Skidmore slash Flickr. You have to wonder how a sick a person has to be to hate his own country. This week, millions of Americans took the time to celebrate our nation's birthday. They spent their hard-earned cash to take their families to the beach, or to grill some burgers and steaks in the backyard. They enjoyed the good weather and the company of their friends and family because they are proud to live in a free country. But around America, vile and bitter Democrats were not celebrating. Oh, I'm sure the vast majority of liberals took advantage of the day off, but many of their leaders used the opportunity to crap all over America. They are so petty, so miserable over who's in the White House. They can't stop for just a day to be thankful they are living in the greatest country in the world. Among the hateful messages, one stands out. Sean King, an outspoken Black Lives Matter activist, took to Twitter to bash the holiday. While distorting the words of the great Frederick Douglass, this social justice hack called the 4th of July a sham. Black Lives Matter activist Sean King, a leading voice on the left, declared on Twitter Wednesday, the 4th of July was always been a sham. Always. King who received BET's Humanitarian Hero Award last weekend, was commenting on a quote from abolitionist, and, later, Republican, Frederick Douglass. In 1852, Douglass delivered a speech about the 4th of July. But King left out the rest of the speech. After recounting the evils of slavery, Douglass reminded his audience that the Constitution did not, in fact, mention it. Douglass went on to paint an optimistic picture of America's future if it would live up to its principles and confront slavery. Source, Breitbart. It seems like Sean King, a white man pretending to be black, has forgotten about the whole abolishing slavery thing. Douglas was outspoken against the evils of slavery. He criticized the 4th of July, because of how black men were enslaved. That was a long time ago. Douglas himself witnessed the emancipation of slaves. He lived to see change come to this country. King, a privileged man who never had to suffer the way Douglas did, abuses the man's words to push his hate. Today, we have many reasons to be thankful for the United States. Anyone, regardless of race, can achieve great things. The oppression Douglas experienced in his lifetime does not exist today. Yet for con artists like King, they will exploit any minor racial issue to get attention. The 4th of July, like all important days, is an opportunity to put aside our differences in order to celebrate. It is a day to remind ourselves that yes, we do have it very good in America. But for King and so many other toxic liberals, even America's birthday is an excuse to spread hate. Patriots weren't impressed with King's bogus and hateful statement. They were quick to put him in his place. Talcum X has audacity calling something a sham. The man, if he even is one, is a walking sham, he's a white guy who claims to be black. Elizabeth Warren's and Rachel Dolezal's scams are amateur hour compared to this guy's. Cynical optimist. Let the lunatic leftist attack the 4th of July in America itself. It just makes Republican victory so much easier, and sweeter. Red wave coming from those who love America. Rico Cat 1, Source, Breitbart. It seems like Sean's attempts at exploiting Douglas and insulting our nation failed. Plenty of Americans saw through his bogus attack. But will people like Sean King learn? Will they cease their pathetic divisions and toxic comments? Not anytime soon. They will continue to throw barbs at our country, its values, and way of life. And they will continue to lose. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.